Might be going live. Yay! Well, YouTube's live! I want YouTube as well. Okay. Can everyone hear me and see me? Hello? Anybody? No one's commenting now, I don't know what's going on. It's um Say it's working now. It's over an hour late then. Okay. okay, I hope you can all hear me and see me. I'm going to try it anyway. Uh, welcome to the third lockdown quiz. Um, I'm going to do a few less rounds this time as we're now an hour late because of all the technical issues. So uh, let's just go for it. So we'll start with a picture quiz. Um, this one is called oh, yeah. Dingbats. I don't know if anyone's done Dingbats before, um, but, but I will give you an example of one. So it will be an image that, um, I'll show you it. So this one here, oh, that for example would be man overboard, would be the answer. Okay, so that's just an idea of what you're looking for that's not one of them that was just a, a little uh, tester one so number one for the digging bats round is that's number one number two Number three, it's kind of backwards actually. Number four, number five. Number six. Number seven. <laughs> that way is the right way though. Number eight. Number nine. And number ten. Okay. Let me know if you want to see any of them again. No one wants to see any again. Oh, sorry, just scrolled down. Right, number 
three is that one it's number three number two is that one number seven is that one and then number one is this one okay right we will go on to the general knowledge round now so 10 questions for general knowledge and question one is which british athlete won the bbc sports personality of the year in 2004 after they became the country's first double gold medalist at the same game which british athlete won the bbc sports personality of the year in 2004 after they became the country's first double gold medalist at the same games. Question two. Food, Glorious Food is a song from which British musical? Food, Glorious Food is a song from which British musical? Question three, in music, which O is the interval between two notes? In music, which O is the interval between two notes? Question four, which children's TV show, Gardens, were famously vandalised in 1983? Which children's TV show, Gardens, were fam famously vandalised in 1983? Question five, who reigned as the UK monarch between June 1837 and January 1901? Who reigned as the UK monarch between June 1837 and January 1901? Question six, Anna, Civic and Kayak are all examples of what type of word as they read the same forwards and backwards? Anna, Civic and Kayak are all examples of what type of word as they read the same forwards and backwards? Question seven, ah, bisto, is a phrase best associated with which type of food? Ah, bisto, is a phrase best associated with which type of food? Question eight, 
The Potsdam Conference, Conference took place at the end of which war? The Potsdam Conference took place at the end of which war? Question nine, who are the two writers of the TV programme, Gavin and Stacey? Who are the two writers of the TV programme, Gavin and Stacey? And question 10, what colours are on the Austrian flag? What colours are on the Austrian flag? Let me know if you want me to reread any. Number three, Dad. In music, which O is the interval between two notes? Which O is the interval between two notes? Sam, number one. Which British athlete won the BBC Sports Personality of the Year in 2004 after they became the country's first double gold medalist at the same games? Uh, number three, I'll just read out for Dad. And number six. Anna, Civic and Kayak are all examples of what type of word as they read the same forwards and backwards. Any others? Okay, uh, round three is sports, uh, but for this round, I'm going to say a, a uh, sport and I want you to tell me how many players are in a team for that sport. Okay, so number one, rugby union, how many players in a team? Number two, football. Number three, cricket. Number four, baseball. Number five, basketball. Number six, volleyball. Number seven, American football. Number eight, hockey. Number nine, netball. And number 10, curling. So how many players are in each of those sports in a team? go through them again so number one rugby union number two football number three cricket number four baseball number five basketball number six volleyball number seven american football number eight hockey Number nine, netball, and number 10, curling. I'll give you a little bit of time for that one.
If you let me know when you're ready, we'll start the answers for those three rounds. Hi, Gillian. Um, yes, Dad. Number on the pitch at any one time. Number seven. Uh, American football. How many players in a team of American football? Okay, we're ready to do some answers then. Okay, so the answers for the dingbats then. Number one, this one, was top secret. Top secret. Number two, I understand, I understand. Number three was seven C's, seven C's. Number four was yellow belly, yellow belly. Number five was Crossroads. Number six, Get Over It. Number seven, Baseline. Number eight, you could have overseas or high seas. Doesn't matter. Number nine, be seeing you. Be seeing you. Be seeing you. And number 10, no left turn. Okay, so general knowledge answers. We have got number one, the British athlete who won the Sports Personality of the Year in 2004 for getting two gold medals at the same games was Dame Kelly Holmes. Number two, Food Glorious Food is a song from Oliver. Number three, the O in music is the interval between the two notes, it's the octave. Number four, the children's TV show gardens that were famously vandalized were the Blue Peter Gardens. Number five, the monarch who reigned between June 1837 and January 1901 was Queen Victoria. Uh, Anna, Civic and Kayak are all examples of palindromes. So a palindrome is a word that reads the same forward and backwards. Ah, bisto is a phrase associated with gravy. Uh, the Potsdam Conference took place at the end of World War II. The two writers of Gavin and Stacey are Ruth Jones, who plays Nessa, and James Corden, who plays Smithy. And number 10, the colours on the Australian flag are red and white. And then the sports answers. So in a team of a uh, rugby union team, there are 15 players. In a football team, there are 11. In a cricket team, there are 11. In a baseball team, there are nine. 
In a volleyball, uh, no, sorry, basketball team, there are five. In a volleyball team, there are six. American football is 11. Hockey is six. Netball is seven. And curling is four. Okay, so let's see what your scores are for those three rounds. Oh, Bex, was Dan not helping you? At four in curling, Sam. Ah, oh, what did Dan get then, Bex? Some good scores. Well done. Okay, next round is food and drink. So, ready. Autumn King, Figaro, and St. Valerie are all types of which vegetable? Autumn King, Figaro, and St. Valerie are all types of which vegetable? Question two. In Italy, what is a mortadella? In Italy, what is a mortadella? Question three. In French cooking, what does en croute mean? In French cooking, what does en croute mean? Question four. Why have cotton when you can have silk? It was used to advertise which chocolate bar? Why have cotton when you can have silk? Was used to advertise which chocolate bar? Question five. If you were in Australia and eating a sinker, what would you be having? If you were in Australia, and eating a sinker, what would you be having? Question six. Clam chowder originated in which country? Clam chowder originated in which country? Question number seven. Which nation produces the most coffee? Which nation produces the most coffee?
Question number eight. What is the base spirit in a Tom Collins? What is the base spirit in a Tom Collins? Question nine. What type of meat is the most consumed worldwide? What type of meat is the most consumed worldwide? Number 10, a pikelet is a Scottish version of what? A pikelet, or it might be picklet, I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, is a Scottish version of what? Okay, let me know if you need any red out. Uh, number 10, Roger. Pikelet or picklet is a Scottish version of what? Anyone else? Or are we all good? I'm just going to switch the lights on. Hang on. That's better. Okay. Next round. Uh, we'll do TV and film this time and then we'll have a quick break. Fill up your drinks. Okay. So TV and film. Number one. Who drove the Turbo Terrific in the Wacky Races cartoon? Who drove the Turbo Terrific in the Wacky Races cartoon? Question two. What was the title of John Wayne's last film? What was the title of John Wayne's last film? Question three. The film Apocalypse Now was based on the on which Joseph Conrad novel? The film Apocalypse Now was based on which Joseph Conrad novel? Question four. What was the name of Son uh, Sonny Crockett's pet alligator in the cult TV series Miami Vice? What was the name of Sonny Crockett's pet alligator in the cult TV series Miami Vice?
Question five. In what year did Coronation Street first air on ITV? In what year did Coronation Street first air on ITV? Question six. How many episodes are there of Game of Thrones? How many episodes are there of Game of Thrones? <coughs> Excuse me. Question seven, in Friends, where do Ross and Rachel get married? In Friends, where do Ross and Rachel get married? Question eight, what TV show has been presented by Bruce Forsyth, Gary Grayson, Jim Davidson and Mel and Sue? What TV show has been presented by Bruce Forsyth, Larry Grayson, Jim Davidson and Mel and Sue? Question nine, what color is Thunderbird two in the Thunderbirds? What color is Thunderbird two in Thunderbirds? And then number 10, who presents the dragon's den? Who presents the dragon's den? Let me know if you want me to read any more. Or any again, even. No, everyone all right? Don't need any reread. Okay, in that case, we'll go through the answers. So the food and drink answers. Um, an Autumn King, Figaro and St. Valerie are all types of carrot. Number two, in Italy, a mortadella is a sausage. Uh, number three, in French cooking, en croute means in pastry. Number four, why have cotton when you can have silk was used to advertise galaxy. Number five, if you were in Australia and you eat a sinker, you would be eating a pie. 
Number six, clam chowder originated in the USA. Number seven, the nation that produces the most coffee is Brazil. Uh, number eight, the base spirit of a Tom Collins is gin. Number nine, the type of meat that's mostly consumed around the world is pork. Number 10, a pikelet or a picklet is a Scottish crumpet. Okay, and then TV and film answers. Uh, question one, the person that drove the Turbo Terrific in Wacky Races was Peter Perfect. Number two, uh, the last film for John Wayne was The Shootist. Number three, Apocalypse Now was based on jo uh, Joseph Conrad novel called Heart of Darkness. Number four, the name of Sonny Crockett's pet alligator was Elvis. Number five, Coronation Street first aired in 1960. Number six, how many episodes were there in Game of Thrones? There are 73. Number seven, uh, Ross and Rachel and Friends got married in Las Vegas. Number eight, what TV show has been presented by Bruce Forsyth, Larry Grayson, Jim Davidson and Mel and Sue? It is The Generation Game. Number nine, Thunderbird 2 is green. And number 10, uh, the person who presents Dragon's Den is Evan Davis. Okay, let's see your scores. Oh, not bad. There's obviously a couple of trickier rounds in. Okay, go and top up your drinks. I'm just going to quickly top up mine and we'll be back for the next part. So just a little preview of some of the animals we're looking after at the minute. Um, I did ask mum for a whole list earlier and she says at the minute we have three ducklings, three magpie chicks, two starlings, two doves, two blackbirds, a sparrow, a thrush, a blue tip fledgling, a dove, two jackdaws, a tawny owl chick, uh, four fox cubs and four hedgehogs. And I've also got this little cutie little baby stoat. Um, his eyes only open this week. I am gradually weaning him now. Um, so tonight is actually going to be his last time that I'm going to handle him to give him his milk feed before bed. 
and then it's hands off completely so that he then reverts to being wild to be released. He is the cutest, cutest little thing. So a little, little preview for you. I love him too, Bex. He's very sweet. Okay, let me know when you're all ready and we can start the next section. Okay, are we ready? Has everyone got a new drink ready to go? We've only got three more rounds left. Okay, so the next round is Capital Cities. So I will give you the name of a country and I want you to give me their capital city. Okay, so number one, Australia. capital city of Australia. Number two, the capital city of Brazil. Number three, capital city of the Bahamas. Number four, capital city of Croatia. Number five, the capital city of Cuba. Number six, the capital city of Canada. Number seven, the capital city of Hungary. Number eight, the capital city of Switzerland. Number nine, the capital city of Iran. And number 10, the capital city of India. Go through those again. So number one is Australia, number two, Brazil, number three, Bahamas, number four, Croatia, number five, Cuba, number six, Canada, number seven, Hungary, number eight, Switzerland, number nine, Iran, and number ten. India. Okay, the next round is the music round. Again, because I'm on YouTube as well, I can't play music. So this round is about um, song titles with a colour in its name. I'm going to give you the name of an artist or a band and I want you to come uh, write down the name of one of their songs that has a colour in its title. So number one, The Beatles. Number two, Van Morrison. Number three, 
Number three, Jimi Hendrix. Number four, UB40. Number five, Prince. Number six, Sting. Number seven, Amy Winehouse. Number eight, Joni Mitchell. Number nine, Madonna. And number 10, Coldplay. I'll go through them again. So just a song title with a color in its name, four. Eight, uh, number one, The Beatles. Number two, Van Morrison. Number three, Jimi Hendrix. Number four, UB40. Number five, Prince. Number six, Sting. Number seven, Amy Winehouse. Number eight, Joni Mitchell. Number nine, Madonna. And number 10, Coldplay. I'll give you a couple of minutes for those. And then we'll do the final picture round before we do the answers. Let me know if you want me to reread any of them. Okay, so the final round is the last picture round. It is celebrity caricatures. So I'm going to show you a caricature. Just tell me the name of that celebrity. I'll do my best that I can to put them in front of the camera. So number one, who is that? Number two, a bit dark, but number Sorry, it's a bit blurry. Number four. Number five. Is that best, Dad? Number 
Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. There's twelve of these. Number 11. And number 12. Let me know if you want to see them again. Anyone want to see any of them again? Or you're all okay? All again, okay. Do a quick whiz through. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Oh, no, that's not number four. That's number four. Number five. Number six, a few people asking for that one. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. Number eleven. And number 12. Okay, is everyone all right now? 
Okay, that's okay. We can go through the answers. So, the capital city answers. Uh, number one, the capital city of Australia is Canberra. Number two, the capital city of Brazil is Brasilia. It has been Salvador and Rio de Janeiro in the past, but it's now Brasilia. Uh, number three, Bahamas, the capital city is Nassau, N-A-S-S-A-U. Uh, number four, capital city of Croatia is Zagreb. Number five, the capital city of Cuba is Havana. Number six, the capital city of Canada is Ottawa. Number seven, the capital city of Hungary is Budapest. Number eight, capital city of Switzerland is Bern. Number nine, capital city, capital city of Iran is Tehran. And ten, capital, capital city of India is Jakarta. Okay. Then the music round. So you may have some different answers to what I've got. I've found at least one for each of the artists I have. So if you have a different one, then it's up to you whether you give yourself a point or not. But the, I'll go through the ones that I've found anyway. So uh, songs with the colour in its title for the Beatles, I had Yellow Submarine or Blackbird. For Van Morrissey, number two, Brown Eyed Girl. Number three, Jimi Hendrix, I had Purple Haze. Number four, for UB40, Red Red Wine. Number five, Prince, I've got Purple Rain or Little Red Corvette. Number six, for Sting, was Fields of Gold. Number seven, Amy Winehouse, was Back to Black. Number eight, Joni Mitchell was Big Yellow Taxi. Number nine, Madonna was True Blue. And number 10, Coldplay was Yellow. Um, Sandra, it was India. Okay, that was the music round. Now for the caricatures. So, number one of the caricatures. This is Martin Lawrence. Number two, Hugh Jackman. Number three, Paris Hilton. Not that we really see her much anymore. Number four, George Clooney. Number five, Quentin Tarantino. Number six is Larry King. Number seven is Will Ferrell. Number eight, Renee Zellweger. Number nine, Jack Nicholson. Number 10, Julia Roberts. Number 11, Owen Wilson. And number 12, Rowan Atkinson. Okay, let's see your scores. That is the last round done.
Got there eventually. Bloody computers. Madam Roger. Well done, Bex and Dan. Well done, Beth. Well done, Claire. Well done, Dad. I assume that's with Mum as well. Well, that concludes quiz number three of lockdown. Hopefully next time I will be able to do it without any computer hiccups. Um, fingers crossed. Thanks again for taking part. Um, as I said earlier, we've got a huge number of different animals in our care at the minute and any donations are greatly received, uh, whether it be from the Amazon wish list or donation in money. Um, all of it goes straight to the animals. None of it goes in our pockets. Very, very grateful for anything we get. Um, if lockdown continues as it looks like it might do, I will do another quiz in another few weeks' time if everyone's happy to take part. Um, doesn't bother me sorting one out, so... Um, I'll update the page with another date when I've sorted it out. So I hope you all enjoyed it. See you soon.